Hello everybody, John McCormick here with a package opening. Hopefully uh, make this quick. Uh, just got a package in the mail from uh, CLK uh, and I uh, thought I'd share it with you. So uh, without further delay, oh my weather, weather uh, report. <laughs> weather here today is cooler. It's about uh, 70 degrees today, but very nice and cool with a little bit of a breeze. So I think I'm going to go out and cut the grass here later today. So let me, without further delay, here's the opening here. Let me just, uh, it's all taped up very well. I like how they say uh, key products for key people, CLK. So let me just uh, zip this open. And of course I didn't zip it too well there, did I? There we go. Get the paperwork taken off camera here for a second. And the package inside the package. Let's see what we have here. I ordered three things I thought might be interesting. Okay. The first thing is a RY5798 compact plug spinner. How about that? And uh, apparently, yes, it does. It has a little blade on it. Um, it seems like the instructions and paperwork are much bigger than the plug spinner itself. Uh, but when you try to open that up here, Give you a little bit better of a look if I can find the knife. Here we go. Okay. There we go. This is the spinner. It's in another bag. And of course, this is the least expensive plug spinner they had. I figure for occasional use. I saw reviews of this and they said. It's uh, not good. Other people said it was good. So I said, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go for it because I'll probably use the thing once in a blue moon. So I thought I'd give it a, sh give it a try here. So uh, that's it. I'm not sure how it works here. You must twist it and uh, charge it somehow. Oh, it's got a powerful spring there. Lift it, twist it maybe. Oh, I don't want to break it. Uh, Later on, uh, maybe I'll feature actually using this. I probably have to read this uh, very thick packet of instructions. It says try it, so uh, uh, hopefully it'll work out easier <laughs> than I'm imagining. Uh, let me just get through this. I want—I don't want to make this a long video. The other two items are very simple. First uh, of the other two, there are two uh, of these. Uh, uh, key decoders. The first one is a KDO1 from CLK. It's a quick set slage, uh, Wiser and Westlock. I figure this would be for like uh, door keys uh, uh, on houses. But my immediate need was for this one. It's a KDO2 and this one I'm going to open real quick. This is for uh, among other things it is for American pins, or American keys, I should say. Pull that out. And I like this style better than the, uh, the other ones that you slide them. Uh, the thing that I liked about these was it actually had segments on them. You know, it had little drop-down segments. And I imagine from what I saw online, that uh, that would work better. So uh, let me, uh, here I have uh, the American that I'm currently cranking on at this time, not having much luck with, but I thought I would see if I could uh, do a little quick decode of the key here. Uh, I know what it says it is. It says it is a, see if you can read that, 36673. So let me try this out. Uh, I believe you put it in here and slide it down. So that is a 
three, and then it said six. Well, I don't know about that because that looks like it's saying five. Hmm. Three, six, six, seven, three. Let me try the uh, three on the end here. Yeah, very tight. The last one is a three. The one before that, the deep one, is listed as a seven. Let me slide that over. Yes, that comes out as a seven. And the ones before that were two sixes. Let me see if that, for some reason, that's coming in as a five. Huh. So uh, this may not be uh, this may not be the bee's knees after all. I guess because uh, it's tight there. So uh, I was hoping it was going to be a little more uh, exacting than that. So uh, I'll have to play with this some more. But uh, uh, and the reason I wanted to get this was because. I have this, uh, I have the one that I need to uh, try to, I was planning on cutting a key for one that I uh, did not have a key for. And I gutted it and saw the pins and I was going to try to actually determine from the pins, uh, you know, the depth. And then I was going to, as I file it, I was going to check as I file and use this scale to insert it to see that I'm actually filing it to the right depth. So that was my intent. You could uh, maybe comment on that, whether you think that's a good idea as you're filing, taking the key and checking that position to the proper depth. I know I saw someone uh, actually uh, impression a, uh, an American lock, and they actually had a key machine. So they just took each one, and when it had a mark, uh, they took it down to the next, uh, the next increment of uh, key size, which is very nice if you have a $1,000 machine. But I thought this might uh, this might uh, be something I could handle, where I just file uh, the position and use this gauge to get the filing depth to the proper size. Uh, anyway, uh, it, I guess it can't hurt to to have this, and uh, so uh, I'd be interested in any comments you have along those lines. So that's it. Uh, my purchase was the uh, the two. Uh, Key guides, I guess you call these. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Key decoders and the plug spinner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Little follow up here. Uh, I read the instructions. It turned out uh, most of that paperwork in the envelope was uh, catalogs and offers for uh, selling. Uh, different key cutting machines and so forth. Here's the instructions here, which are pretty basic. Uh, what you do is you, uh, you determine which way you want to spin it, and then you grab the front part. It's separated right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's got a little notch right there uh, where this part. So what you do is you hold this side, and you turn, and then once you get a quarter turn, you push in with the top, and then turn it the rest of the 180 degrees. You actually pull back, and then it latches in that little that little notch, and then you hold it like this, and push the yellow thing, and it actually pushes that out, and then the torsion of the spring just turns. So I'll click it here. Boom, and that's it. So uh, pretty simple. And I could see how this might not be durable with that little notch in the plastic. But for the amount of times I'll use it, uh, uh, it's probably uh, perfectly good for me. Okay, thank you.